Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. Guys, we're going to talk about Mavericks today, to try to choose between the Mavericks to take a proper look on which of these variants should you use. Okay guys, so we're going to test and take a look on the files on the Seeker of the D, H and G variants of the Maverick. And then we're going to test it out in the game to try to see which of them is better, okay? So, first of all, let's take a look on the files. So, here we have the, um, the data sheet that Copani and Zabi made. Uh, more Copani, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, thank you, Copani, for doing this. Uh, that basically shows every single, you know, performance thing about the missiles and weapon systems that we have, right? So, uh, of course, I went to AGM Automatic over here, and then we have the three variants, and then even the other ones that we can take a look. We have the G variant, which is now being used by the Harrier Mark 7, and your GR7, and the F-16 as well as the new Hungarian Gripen, as well as the normal D variant that you will see in the A-10s, in the F-16Cs and many other aircraft. And of course the H, which is the new variant as well, that it is only on the Hungarian version, okay? So let's just talk a little bit about the differences between these missiles. Uh, the D variant will be uh, IR guided, with a normal heat warhead. The G variant will be an IR guided, but with a semi-armor piercing HE warhead. And then the H is going to be a heat warhead, but with an optical TV system like the older AGM 65s. Apparently it's supposed to be better in the desert, etc. But still it is the older system, I think. In the game, it's pretty much the same as this ones. So let's take a proper look onto the uh, files here. First of all, the performance of it. Well, you can see one little thing over here that the mass, the total mass and the mass at the end of the sustainer or the burn or whatever, it's always a lot higher, like a lot higher on the G variant. And that's because the G has the different warhead, okay? So you'll notice that this missile has a lot more weight to it, meaning that, of course, it has a lot less delta V, meaning that it has a lot less effective range. Although it would have the same range as the other ones in theory, effectively it will be um, an aircraft that has a missile that has less range than the other ones. Just know that, okay? The thing is that once this thing penetrates and it will self-explode with the HE, it will explode everything. So it might be a better option to hit kill targets with it, but it has a lot less energy. I think that's the idea behind the choosing thing over here, okay? As you can see between the H and the D, it's pretty much the same same weight and same delta v so they have the same energy and performance so expect the g variant to be a little bit uh, worse than the other ones a lot worse actually you will notice on the tests that we will do then we go for the guidance properties over here or basically the seeker you will see that the majority of the specs over here of gimbal limits track rates g's everything like that it's basically the same um, there is basically two differences. Between the G and the D, they are basically the same missile on the sense of the seeker. As you see, you can change between 2.48 times the zoom to 4.92. Between the two of them, they are the same and guided by the same system, IR guided, infrared guidance. And then we have this one, which is for now basically a seeker from an AGM 65A, but it does have thermals as well, which is kind of funny, but yeah, it does have thermals in the game. Um, so, it's kind of weird. This is supposed to be a lot better on the Seeker, and I think maybe in other little things that are not expressed here, it might be. But everything else, you will see that it lacks a little bit, right? So, for example, here... Um, 
it is a lot less, it has a lot less range, lock-on range, as you see on a target, than the IRs, of course. The IRs, it will be a lot easier to lock on to a target. But it's a lot better than the original AGM-65A as well. It's more like a mix between the B and the, and the A in some areas. It has the zoom of the A, but it has the range of the B, which is very weird. It's a very weird missile, the AGM-65H. Uh, so it's kind of interesting, actually. Everything else is pretty much the same, as you see. Uh, the flight characteristics of them, aerodynamically, they will be basically the same with the Max-G lofting capabilities everything else is basically the same of course they are better than the um than the a's and b's but that's just obvious right but uh yeah you have basically a choice over here so the g variants they have a different payload over here as you see right there it penetrates a lot less but probably when it penetrates it it will kill the target easily. That, I think, is the idea here. I think. And while the heat, it might not kill everybody in one shot. I think that's the idea. While the H will have a fixed zoom with TV guidance, so it has a lot less range on the guidance system, on the seeker system. Uh, the IR has a lot more range, but um, the zoom is a lot less capable. And it has... Um, you know, uh, a different like you can zoom in and zoom out while this one is a fixed zoom. So these are the differences between each other. Uh, between the H and the D variant, I don't think there is much of a difference enough to actually choose the H for now, at least. Uh, I don't feel like it, especially because in the F-16, for example, you can only take one AGM-65G instead of three D variants in each pylon, right? So, uh, I don't think it's a good enough missile to actually make it a little bit different, you know. But uh, the seeker of these will be the same, so the guidance will be there. And if it penetrates, maybe it is more of a guaranteed kill. But we are going to test it out uh, on the F-16 later, between the D and the, a the G, sorry. Uh, first of all, we are going to test it out between the G and the H to actually see if there is anything different. So we are going to go here in the test flight uh, with a tank that we normally will not see in the game um, that these aircraft will face, but I don't think it matters that much. The only thing that matters here is to test it out uh, how much damage the missile does inside um, the tank, right? If you take a look onto here, and I'm gonna get to another point later about this, um, they have the same like sighting system over here. So, like it's it's complicated, it's kind of weird, but it kind of it's fix it when you have a certain missile. So I don't know if you can change that up in some area. It's kind of weird, but uh, both of them have the thermals. It's just the way that the seeker is. So if you're going to take it, like both of them like this, it's kind of a weird thing that happens with the seeker. So you're going to attack from the beach over here. So let's turn around. And we're going to test the G variant, which is the semi-armor piercing version on that medium tank. That's an M46 or M26, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we're going to basically come from directly here. We're going to choose this and we're going to fire. And now you will notice that the missile is like, it's kind of sluggish. Right now it doesn't feel like it, but it is a little bit sluggish. And as you see, it just completely obliterated the M46. So we're going to test it out with the H variant now respawning in. Now we're going to test it out the H variant to see if we can notice any differences in the um, in the actual way that the missile explodes on the tank. Um, the G variant kind of went on the target itself and it just exploded there. So I think that's good enough. 
Let's see how he explodes on the target. It looks like... Yeah, see how... Oh my god, I almost died. See how the heat kind of has some troubles dealing with some types of targets. He had a machine gun there. And because of that, it self-exploded before the time of reaching the armor. And then it didn't do anything. And that's the problem with these heat mavericks. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage. You will notice that the G variant penetrates a lot less, like a lot less, 122 millimeters. But if you do an angle of attack that it's high enough on the armor to actually attack the upper armor of the maverick of the tank, you will notice that the 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 G variant will be better killing tanks. It's just that, of course, uses a different seeker and everything, but. Let's try again. Now I'm not gonna crash. <laughs> or almost crash. Let's see how this one does. I'm attacking from a little bit above. More above, I think. Kind of more or less the same, right? Now he actually did well, right? So he kind of rests it up on being in a place that he kind of can connect with the armor of the tank. If it can do that, it will do well and actually, you know, destroy everything. But at the same time, the SCAP um, HE one, the AGM 65G, will be a lot more reliable. I just think that it would be a good option to attack from above to make sure that it has enough penetration to penetrate on the like top of the tank, right? And between the, the, the two heat ones, between the G variant and between the um, H variant, uh, we're going to create one of each over here. And we're going to test it out on the F-16. You will notice that there isn't anything to difference between the... Like, I tested the Seeker. It's the only thing that will matter. So, the D variant will have this. So you can actually zoom in and zoom out. And then the G variant uh, will also have that. So, uh, not the Seeker, the, the Warhead, right? So again, the only difference between the two of them will be the, um, the, this, the, like the Warhead, right? While the H to the G, it's a completely different missile. Uh, it's, you know, completely different. So let's test again. Uh, here we have a different tank, but we're going to fire the D variant first And there is another point to my subject on the seeker don't mind too much on the seeker guys because Every single aircraft that has these missiles normally has a pod that you can take it. Of course. It's a lot more weight to use but at the end of the day, it's a lot better to use a pod and don't rely on the seeker to actually find the targets. I just think it's a better option, in my opinion. So, from the front, the D variant, again, I mean, it did explode, it did do damage, but it kind of just self-exploded in a place that wouldn't kill in one shot, right? And if you use the G, you will see that it's a bit different. Let's see. So fire again. I'm actually learning while I'm doing the video, so I will change my opinions a little bit. I mean, it did the same, so it depends, I guess. It depends. So let's... I mean, again... Probably it's better to just use the G variant and then attack from above to make sure that it doesn't self-detonate earlier like it did in these two targets or it doesn't penetrate well enough because there is a cannon or a manlet or composite armor or something like that in there, right? I'll probably play with these missiles more a little bit uh, in another video. Let's try again from like up above like this. Let's try the G variant. I think this will be a kill. 
Again, the seeker of them two and the F-16 are the same. The only thing that differs is that one will try to penetrate the target and then explode, and then will one will explode to penetrate the target. So it's aiming on the wrong angle, the superior Russian technology <laughs> of making the Mavericks go for that machine gun over there. That's funny. That's not the same angle as the G variant, so we might get the kill. But again, these Mavericks, that's why the that's the main reason why I prefer to use laser guided bombs instead of these. Because they can get fooled by attacking the wrong spot in the tank. I mean, look at that. I mean, it did do damage, but it wasn't good enough, right? So it's problematic, right? So let's wrap the video up talking about the um the actual pods, right? So every single aircraft that you will fly will have the pod. So every difference that you take a look on the seeker doesn't really matter that much, right? Um, the only thing that really matters here is that, is that you have to remember that even if you use a pod over here, the H variant only has a 12 kilometer lock range, right? So you have to rem be reminded of that. If you are going to use a pod, Remember that the seeker can only see the target at 12 kilometers or lock the target. And that's the thing, I guess. When will you ever fire an, a Maverick at above 12 kilometers? It's kind of a very long range. I don't think you will ever do that normally, right? You can do that, but normally you won't. Uh, the seekers, the pods, they're not good enough for looking at targets that are 20, 30 kilometers away, right? So... Um, this is kind of a, a no no problem kind of thing, right? And of course, remember that um, the only thing that really matters here, because you are going to be using a pod, is choosing between the warheads. That's the thing that you have to worry about. I still think that the G variant has more chance of killing the target at one shot, but you saw it that it depends, you know? It depends on the target, it depends on where it's shooting, everything like that. I just think that um, it will be less affected by ERA and other systems like that um, to be able to be used. But um, still, the H is still a very good missile. And if it's between the D and the G variant, you got to take into account in the F-16 that you can only take um, one of them right here. In the Harrier, you can take, uh, you know, whatever it's, you can choose. But in the other ones, it, you know, you, you have to choose. So um, in the F-16, right? So yeah, just remember these three things, okay, guys? At the end of the day, all the aircraft that uses these missiles, they have pods. So which one of them has a better zoom or which of these has a worse or better seeker? It doesn't really matter. As long as you know that if you are using the H, you only have 12 kilometers. Um, everything else on seeker kind of situation is the same for everybody. It depends on the pod itself, not on the missile. But if you're going to choose between the missiles, remember of the warhead. One is heat, one is SAP HE. And remember that the SAP HE one has a lot less performance. So it would help a little bit choosing carefully how you shoot these missiles and try to get a little bit of speed maybe helping the missile get a little bit more penetration uh going down range right so these are the things that i could um come up with talking about these missiles again i still think that the g variant is the better option but um there will probably be guy people that like the h more or even the d more or i don't know like, you can do whatever you want. But in my opinion, the G variant is still the better one. Okay? See you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe. And bye, guys.